Discoverer 2 was launched on April 13, 1959 from Vandenberg Air Force Base's Pad 75-3-4. It was produced by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency as part of the Corona program, which had the goal of launching cameras on satellites for reconnaissance and then returning the film back using a re-entry capsule that would be caught mid-air by an airplane while it was floating down on parachutes. Discoverer 2 was a recovery test and did not carry a camera, and it was launched on a Thor Agena rocket. The Corona satellites were initially supposed to be spin-stabilized, like many early satellites, and only take photos when the cameras were facing the Earth, but they were ultimately actively stabilized so that the cameras would always have the correct orientation. Starting with Discoverer 14, the satellites carried one, then two, then finally three cameras. This launch was also an early successful test of the Agena upper stage, which would be used on the Thor, Atlas, and Titan 3B rockets, including as a docking target for the Gemini program. Starting with this mission, Vandenberg Air Force Base would be the prime American launch base for polar orbit missions. Discoverer 2 was the first satellite placed into polar orbit, with a 346km apoapsis and a 239km periapsis. It made 17 orbits, and then the re-entry capsule separated and fired its retro rockets to re-enter on April 14th. A timer failure meant that the re-entry burn was early, so that the capsule came down over the North Pole and was not recovered. Soviet agents could theoretically have recovered the capsule though, and news about Discoverer 2 partly inspired the novel and movie Ice Station Zebra, which was about agents rushing to try and recover a spy satellite capsule, just like the one launched during the Corona program. Despite the recovery failure and the failure of many others before Discoverer 13 was successfully recovered and Discoverer 14 was recovered with a camera, Discoverer 2 set the stage both for the prolific programs of spy satellites and for bringing stuff back from orbit. Of the 144 satellites the Corona program launched between 1959 and 1963, 102 were successful.